Well, good Tuesday afternoon to ya. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home, the Sticks. Hope everybody's having a showing of good Tuesday and a good start to the week. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, kind of hot, breezy. Looks like it wants to rain. Matter of fact, yeah, I know it's going to rain. That's all right. We could use it. Before we get started on this video, I always like to say that if you are new to the channel, we want to welcome you. And if you returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of mercy. We had to harvest some peppers. It's about that time where we start making some fermented hot sauce. Give me a second. We're finna get off in this shop and that's what we fixing to do. <laughs> Kyle and I went ahead and harvested a bunch of our Aztec rainbow chilies. And here's some of them right here. I don't know how much that is. That's maybe a cup and a half, maybe two cups of chilies. We also harvested a few jalapenos and some long red cayennes. Well, one of those. So what we're going to do is it's time to start uh, getting our fermented hot sauce uh, in the makings. We're going to create a real simple brine. And I'm going to show you the brine and the ingredients that we're going to put into it. It's going to be extremely simple. What we have here is four cups of water or one quart of water. And this is room temperature distilled water. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of pickling salt or canning salt. Now that's the one thing that we're going to do differently uh, with our fermentation process this year is instead of using kosher salt or regular salt, we're going to use pickling salt, a canning salt, and I believe this is the Mrs. Wages. The reason why I'm using that from, we used it a little bit last year, but we find with the pickling salt, we don't get that cloudy, cloudiness that you do from using kosher salt or just salt. So that's what we're gonna do. We have uh, one onion that I just cut up on a rough. We got about, uh, what, five cloves of garlic. We're gonna use, we're gonna try to use this ball wide mouth jar, and this is a quart jar. And of course we have our weight. And we're gonna use an airlock. I can't never remember what these things are called, but it's a wide mouth jar airlock. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to layer uh, the peppers in with some onions and some garlic. So let's start doing that. Well, before we do that, we're gonna dump this two tablespoons of salt into the water and we're going to give it a stir and try to mix it and we're just going to mix that water and it shouldn't really take long because it's kind of warm out here today so that salt should dissolve rather quickly and it actually is so we're going to start layering these peppers in oh, God wants me to use that we're going to start layering these peppers in maybe put one or two cloves of garlic in there a little bit of onion some more peppers and you know what just for shoots and giggles let's throw in a couple of jalapenos and that long red cayenne i add a little bit more some more aztec chilies in there all we're doing is just uh just layering stuff is all we're doing plus it looks cool all right i'm gonna maybe throw some onions on top of it we're going to put our weight on top give it a little smush down let's add our brine into this mason jar we want to keep about a half an inch of head space in this jar but everything everything is covered with the brine and the weight is going to keep everything pushed down so we're looking good. We're gonna throw the airlock on top of it. Well, let's get a paper towel. It's gonna wipe off this lid real good. Put our airlock on top. And the last step is to add a little bit of water into this airlock. Note to self, you do not have to use, and we use distilled water in the brine. You don't have to use distilled water in the airlock. You could just use regular tap water, and I'm using right about that much. And this allows the gases to escape. So we're just going to shove it down in there a little bit. And we're going to call that done. Well, there you have it. 
That's what we wanted to share with you and y'all today. We're getting our fermented hot sauce going over here in East Central Mississippi. Lord of mercy. But that's about the only thing that's growing good over here, and that's the dang peppers. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Tuesday, and I hope everybody is staying safe amid this crisis we still have going on. If y'all like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give us a look. Cause we always doing stuff. Like making hot sauce. That being said, you know it's coming down. Referee show sure enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. Be you. Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.